Hey folks, I've been trying something interesting and it's how to make purified water taste good or to give it flavor. Uh, I have a, a really good filter here at home that filters out. It's not a reverse osmosis, but it filters out water really, really well. And I like the way the water turns out, but it just doesn't have any flavor. You know, it's like if you were to drink distilled water, it, you, it just doesn't have any flavor because it's just completely pure. And that, that's the same with reverse osmosis. It just, it tastes clean, it tastes pure, but it doesn't have any flavor. Now, I was talking with a coworker recently and we were talking about that same thing. And, and he said he can only drink or he only likes carbonated water. And, uh, and he was telling me that he, you know, normally he would drink Topo Chico, which is pretty expensive, really, if you buy it on a regular basis. So I was telling him about the soda stream that I've been using for years and how I, I you know, I'll carbonate something and then uh, add like a flavoring to it so I can make my own, you know, cola, my own soft drinks or whatever. And uh, it just got me thinking, one of the things that makes uh, like, say, Topo Chico tasty is... Uh, minerals and when you're filtering uh especially at this level of filtering you're removing all of the all of the minerals whatsoever so you're not getting any any of uh, the flavor from that so we were talking and I, th I thought you know what i bet you himalayan pink salt add a little bit of himalayan pink salt to the water would give it flavor because himalayan pink salt it's not just salt. There's a lot of minerals in there. The, that's what makes it pink. Is there's a there's a just a ton of minerals. So I looked it up, and uh, Topo Chico has forty milligrams per liter of sodium. So I measured out forty milligrams. This is this is forty milligrams of Himalayan pink salt. I don't know how to. Maybe that's an eighth of a teaspoon. I'm not exactly sure. And then this is a liter of my filtered water. So I'm going to add 40 milligrams of Himalayan pink salt. And then give it a good mix before I carbonate it. You don't want to do this after you've carbonated. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute or two just uh, so that can get dissolved. And then I'll bring you back to the uh, actual carbonation. Okay, that's dissolved. So let's get this carbonated. So this is what you do. Get that up there nice and tight, like so. And then there's this button up here and you have to press this three times, at least three times. And then you'll, you'll kind of get like what they say, they call it a burp. So push all the way down. Two, three. So that was a really incredible burp. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let me just... Remove. Now at this point you could add whatever flavoring, concentrated flavoring you wanted. Uh, I've actually carbonated Gatorade before and it turned out really good. So now we've got really good carbonated sparkling water that hopefully has some flavor. There we go. Yeah, that's a nice carbonation. Cheers. Yep, yep, but definitely that has flavor. It, it tastes more than just, just, you know, water that has been filtered. It, it actually has some flavor. And it's not going to be overly salty. Uh, 
Himalayan peaks, uh, like I said, it's it's there's a lot of minerals, so it's not like you're getting 40 milligrams of sodium chloride. There's a lot more to it than that, but you're getting a lot of flavor in that. Normally, what I like to do is add like uh, a slice of lime to mine. I just like I don't like sweet drinks and stuff like that, so I like I like this with a, a slice of lime or a slice of lemon. So there you have it, folks. Oh, I forgot. I did refrigerate this beforehand. I think it works. The carbonation seems to work better if you do refrigerate this so you got it nice and cold. So there you have it, folks. Get yourself a soda stream and some Himalayan pink salt if you want some water that has flavor. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.